Hi everybody, it's me again. How's my art historians doing? All right, today I wanted to talk to you about um, an artist called Jackson Pollock. And of course I have him in my book because this is my favorite, well, one of my favorite books that I love. Anyway, so I have Jackson Pollock in here. I'm gonna read to you a little bit about Jackson Pollock. Um, he did drip paintings. I'm sure if you've been to an art gallery or museum, you've seen this kind of a painting. Um, it just looks like a bunch of drips on the canvas. And I'm sure if you've seen it, you probably looked at it and thought, what's so special about that? Or I don't get it. Or I could do that, which a lot of people do think when they see Jackson Pollock. But anyway, let me read you a little bit um, about Jackson Pollock and I'll explain a little bit about this kind of artwork. So Jackson Pollock was born in 1912 in uh, Cody, Wyoming, which is in the United States. And he grew up in Arizona and California. At 18, he moved to New York City um, to study art with a mural painter. Mural painters paint um, giant pictures on the walls, which I kind of like to do. Anyway, um, in 1936, he worked with Mexican muralists and was introduced to the effects of paint being poured at a workshop that he went to. See, workshops, classes, they're always fun to take. You always learn something new. For him, <laughs> the workshop of pouring paint and dripping paint turned into the, his Thing that he became known for. So you never know what you're going to learn at a workshop. In 1945, he married another painter named Lee Krasner, and she also was very famous. Um, during 1947 to 1952 is when he did his ever famous strip paintings. He did oodles of them. Um, and then in 1956, he passed away because he was in a car accident when he was 44 years old. So he didn't live very long, but he lived long enough to uh, experiment. And that's something that I want to talk to you about. So Jackson Pollock, you've seen, I'm sure you've seen, not him, but his work, his drippy paintings. They're huge. They're giant. They're giant canvases. He uh, painted them on the floor and he used to just dip his brush or stick in a paint bucket and just dribble it everywhere. And two of the things I want to talk to you about um, were this was intentional and it was also for the experience. So intentional, what I mean by that is I did, <laughs> I did my own Jackson Pollock style painting. And you might think, just by looking at it, you might think, oh, I just flung paint. But really, really, I I didn't just fling it. I didn't just do it haphazardly. I didn't just throw it. I had the canvas on the table um, and then I just dipped. I actually used a spoon, like a plastic spoon you use at a picnic, and I dipped it in the can of paint and then I just dribbled it kind of like if you dribble chocolate syrup on uh, an ice cream sundae or something like that. Um, so I was just drizzling it everywhere and that's kind of what he did. Um, he wasn't as careful as I was because um, he like he flung it and on his canvases you can see where he used his hand and he was like fling 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 but he also did it intentionally he dripped things on purpose and he did it in places on purpose um it's not as am on purpose as like if you're taking a marker and you're drawing a flower or if you're taking a paintbrush and you're painting a tree he wasn't trying to draw something in particular he was uh, an abstract artist so he did things that weren't looking like something that was real that we know so um, that was the one thing that I wanted to tell you about. The other thing was um, the experience. He did it for the experience. <laughs> the funny thing, the rumor with him, and the funny thing about his art is that he did most of this stuff just for the experience, which means it's kind of like if you're a musician and you play the piano and you go up to the piano and you just play a couple notes and walk away and you don't care. It wasn't really a song. You just care that you wanted to play the music and it, it was just the experience of making the music and you don't care about it afterwards. Well, that's kind of what Jackson Pollock did. Like he did this for the experience of dripping the paint. He didn't do it because he thought, oh, this is going to be famous art one day. He just did it because he thought, oh, this is fun. Like, you know, like if you stick your toes in the sand in a sandbox or um, and just squish around or if you play in the sandbox, it's just fun. Like it's just something fun or play outside in the snow. It's just fun or run and splash in puddles in the rain outside. It's just fun. You don't do it because it means something. You just do it because it's fun. So that's kind of the other thing about Jackson Pollock is he did things for the experience because it was fun. So let me read you a little bit more about Jackson Pollock. 
Jackson Pollock is a famous abstract expressionist. We said that. Um, he created a whole new way of painting in 1947. He suddenly stopped standing at the easels and using palettes and brushes and started dripping household paint over huge canvases on the floor. Nobody had painted like this before. This was the artist's way of working with paint and the canvas was made the subject of the painting. These are called action paintings because it was an action you had to do, like it was something he had to do. Then they also became known as drip paintings because, you know, he dripped the paint. So the other funny thing about Jackson Pollock is it says he uses household paint and he did and that's true. Um, household paint comes in different, different kinds. There's um, oil based paint and there's acrylic based paint and they don't really mix very well. If you use them together on your wall inside or on your wall outside of your house, they wouldn't stick to each other and they would kind of come off over time. And that's one of the funny things about Jackson Pollock is that he just dribbled these paints that didn't belong together. They didn't stick together. They didn't work together. He dribbled them on these canvases and um, over time they're just going to dry out and they don't stick to each other so they're going to start falling off the canvas. So maybe if you're lucky in a museum you will go see a Jackson Pollock and I want you to look and see if anything is peeling or flaking or coming off. The other funny thing about Jackson Pollock, like I said, he did it for the experience. He did it for the fun, for the play of it. He um, smoked cigarettes so he would often have a cigarette dangling out of his mouth while he was painting which probably isn't the best idea, but <laughs> he's an adult. Um, so sometimes you will find cigarette butts in his paintings, or I'm looking for what, I don't know if there was anything in this particular one, um, but I know I've seen, <laughs> I've seen two of his in particular. One of them had like uh, a matchstick like in there and a cigarette butt. If something fell in his paintings when he was painting, he just left it. He didn't go, oh gosh, that's going to ruin it. Pick it up and take it out. He didn't do that. He didn't care. He was doing the painting for the experience, for the fun of it. So he just left it. So there are things that are in his paintings. And if you go to a museum and see one of his paintings, you can usually ask a docent, sometimes even a security guard, because sometimes they know things too. <laughs> Most of the time they know things. Ask them, say, is there anything in that painting? Sometimes it'll even say on the placard on the side of the on the wall, like in the museum, there'll be a little note on the side and it'll say what's in there and you can go look for it. So I've done that before too. That's pretty fun. Anyway, maybe I'll do this with you guys for one of our Make Art Mondays. It'll be fun to watch and maybe you guys can do it at home. If your <laughs> parents or whoever's at home with you say you can do it, but it's a lot of fun. This um, I did just like in the style of Jackson Pollock, it, just for the experience, just to say I did it and to enjoy the experience. It's not really anything that I'm gonna hang. It is a very thick, super tough, can you hear it? It's really hard, like really, really hard uh, canvas. It was a piece of canvas that was supposed to be, I think like you could paint it and make it into a doormat or something that you could put outside your door outside. But I live in a place where if I put this outside, it would just blow away in a second. So it's not that heavy, it's just really hard and thick and I thought it would be fun. So I painted it with gray first and then I painted it with yellow and blue and I was going to add another color but then after I did it, after I started going with it and you can see where like some of the paint bled and like seeped and crept around and I was just enjoying watching the blue creep around and seep around and then I added some yellow and it kind of mixed together. I don't know if you can see it very well but um it was just fun to just do that. So Maybe we'll do that in some Make Art Monday. Maybe on Monday I'll do that for you. So look for that <laughs> after this week, okay? So this is my famous Art Friday for you. Jackson Pollock, go to a museum, ask for a Jackson Pollock, ask to see one. I, there's nine times out of 10, there's gonna be a Jackson Pollock in the museum you go to, okay? So that's my video for today and I hope you enjoyed it and I had a great time talking to you guys and I hope you come back and see me again and I hope you make art with me on Mondays and share it with me on Instagram and hashtag me make art with Jocelyn and at me Jocelyn's for Art. okay so have a great weekend talk to you later bye